excited to watch you compete. Yeah? I'm so nervous. Why are you nervous? Just, I just am. You've never been nervous with something you didn't care about. It's I true. Like that. When is your regional? Next, week on your regional Next weekend. I'm oh. going to cheer so hard. <laughs> I appreciate that. Did you hear Vigno? Uh, uh, he blew his peck out. What? He's out. Yeah. Doing what? Prep? Like a ring yeah. dip? Yeah, ring, uh, regional, yeah, regional event too. Oh my gosh, that sucks. He can't even do, he can't even do a push up. Oh. People are dropping like flies. Yeah, I'm ready to go. It's interesting because this year's regional is so different than any other regional we've ever had on the fact that there's no barbell. How many shaking cups do you have? Right now, one. There's nothing I feel like that's really gonna throw a giant wrench in anybody's system. You're gonna have to keep moving for a large, large part of the workout. You're just gonna have to keep the, the gas pedal down. You got a good joke. Okay. That's never a good way to start a joke, is it? It says, uh, uh, what? See, it's not, look at that, I just ruined it. <laughs> it's just with the stutter there. whiteboard and you know what I've found is if I don't write things down they don't get done not so much the workouts but it'll just be like pick up a coffee grinder Tuesday and then I just start writing things right, show me that again uh, Tuesday. Tuesday did Dave Castro write your notebook what's that did Dave Castro write your notebook <laughs> you guys have similar handwriting Dave and I don't have much in common but what we do, I cherish. Wait, what? When they were making the announcement for the first workout, I was like, that's a lady's hand. That's not Dave's hand. I'm like, unless he's wearing like a puffy sweatshirt and has very delicate hands, I'm like, that's a lady's hand. I hope it's not his hand, because now I'll feel like a dick. But that's totally like a lady's hand. No, it's Dave's hand. No, it's not. It's hands. not Dave's hand. <laughs> I'm Lindsay Valenzuela. I own and I train at Automo CrossFit in Moore Park, California. I've been to the Reebok CrossFit Games four times, and my highest finish was in 2013. I placed second. It's comeback tour 2017. I had my our son on May 26th of last year. So actually the first day of our regionals, or my regionals, we, uh, my son will be turning one years old and I'll be exactly one year postpartum. He missed the worst poopy diaper this morning. <laughs> he like pooped in his sleep. Yeah! And there was poop everywhere. <laughs> I was like, this is a two man job. There's poop on me, there was poop on him. There's poop all over your pajamas. I think he's the cutest little boy ever. I might be biased, but he's just fun. He's definitely his dad. Like, I don't think he looks anything like me. He looks just like his dad. I knew it. I'm just gonna call Dave David from now on when I'm mad at him. David? I don't even know if that's his real name. Um, he uh, announced the workout last night and I wasn't really, mm, the air squats are the air squats. I mean, we did a lot of stuff with the vest the last few weeks, actually, so I'm fairly confident in it. And I was 60 pounds heavier when I first started training again, so that helped. <laughs> yeah, you're basically going back to... <laughs> yeah, uh, post-pregnancy weight. Yeah. <laughs> they say on average that, you know, anything from about 20 to 40 pounds is a healthy weight to gain while you're pregnant. I unfortunately gained 85 pounds while I was pregnant. It wasn't 
you know, because I was eating donuts and ho-hos. I wish, because that would have been a whole lot more fun. They tested me for preeclampsia, because that's a, a big sign of it, is a lot of water retention, to put it simply. I, at one point, was put on complete bed rest and couldn't even leave the house. Um, I mean, I could go to the grocery store for with my husband for about 10, 20 minutes before I felt just not, you know, super sick and my feet and my legs started swelling up really bad. It was crappy at the time, but I, I like I said, I, it was worth it. And I would do it in a heartbeat again to have my son. I've been doing CrossFit competitively since the beginning of 2010. Since then, I've been to the games five times. So you want to talk about pressure on this particular event. All the pressure is on this guy right here, Dan Bailey. Three points out. You don't want to accept the fact that you can get beat. You know, getting beat sucks. Losing sucks. And Dan Bailey will miss the games for the first time since 2010. What are you going to do now? Eat, drink, sleep. I don't want to keep competing and, and just go to regionals, like that's not why I started this. I started this to be the fittest man on earth and I want to compete at the games if I'm going to compete and if I'm not making it there then I think it's time for me to move on, so. How long does it take your horn to figure this out? What? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> the struggles of being a mom. Mm. How's your weekend? Clearly he doesn't get it from me. <laughs> I've never seen his dad do that. <laughs> Changing his diaper. <laughs> Did something happen? No, he just peed. Uh. <laughs> Mom duty. Don't, don't put my son's junk yeah. out there yet. <laughs> yeah, I won't put his junk out there, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. He, if he wants to do that, whatever. <laughs> I'm kidding. See, this is the only time I cry now. I don't cry when I do well in CrossFit anymore. <laughs> it's only when I talk about RC. Yeah, so... Uh, I went in... We, it tried to induce me for about 20 hours. Uh, I had so much placenta fluid, so, so much fluid in my placenta that um, if I would have waited any longer, they said that my placenta would have burst. Um, so we would have lost our son. So um, it was supposed to happen that day in that time. So, um, you know, he comes out, you hear, he cried immediately and I was like, oh crap, does this mean he's gonna cry all the time? <laughs> um, and uh, he got placed on my chest and I'll never forget the way that felt. It was like the best, best thing that I ever could have asked for replaces everything in life. And from that, you don't know life from that moment on without your child in your life. And that's just every hope and dream and prayer that I ever put out in the universe just came completely true. So I'll never forget that. Even when he gets older and he gets married and has kids, I'll be like, I remember when you were butt naked on my chest. So it was the coolest thing that I've ever had. So I knew I wasn't done competing. You just can't take it out of my of my blood. It's it's forever ingrained in me. I think whether I'm crossfitting or I'm crocheting at 90 years old, I'm going to be competing in something. <laughs> I remember, you know, they're like, all right, let's try a pull-up. Let's try a strict pull-up, no kipping. And I couldn't do a pull-up. I had to use like two bands, two or three bands. And I was just like, oh crap. Yeah, this is gonna be a lot of work. And I just remember sitting in, in bed sometimes just crying to Arsenio, my husband, thinking like, saying, I'm never gonna be where I was before, aesthetically, I'm never gonna lose this weight. 
and you know I, I would be lying to say if I was like this is I'm just gonna quit I just you know I'm gonna take my time and I'm gonna quit and I'm just gonna do CrossFit for fun and own my affiliate and coach get up get up get up, 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 up. From now to when the Open was, I'm a completely different athlete. I feel like every week I've gotten better and every week things have started to make sense again, like physically and mentally. 175! But I also have um, a different why and that why is to make sure that my son knows what women are capable of doing and he's why I bust my, my ass every day in the gym. That's holy. Why aren't you wearing an Ohio t-shirt? <laughs> Thoughts on uh, Lindsay Valenzuela. How's she going to do? She's going to crush it. She's a fierce competitor. I mean, I don't know what it's like to come off pregnancy, so I can't really speak to that one. I'd imagine it's a little bit harder than coming back from like a rolled ankle. Probably. <laughs> That's a good assumption. So. Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, being a part of what we're doing here, we've also got... We're measuring for the <laughs> ring dip standard. I can't remember that. Shoulders back. Yeah, Shoulders are too small, you can't tell. I'm going. Can't. I'm leaving. I can't talk to my friends anymore? Yeah, of course down. you can. Of course you can. All right. This guy intimidates me so much. i got to keep an eye on these guys, you though. You have a job to do. you did in the uh, strap measurement? Huh? How do you think you did? How do I think I did? Yeah, you I didn't tear my pack, so, so far so good. <laughs> what did you bring her, I again? brought her an invitational shirt. Two years behind. She's been waiting. <laughs> yes. Wow. Finally. <laughs> so happy. Did you Notice. sign it? Or did I didn't. You, did you drool on it? I can't. That's been drooled drool. on for yes. sure. Yes, that's the only thing too. that I needed. <laughs> We're drool buddies. Yeah. Did you yes, see did you her? see did you my picture? drooling? Yeah, She's drooling on a picture. muscle up. Yeah. I think it's, it's like perfect. a barn thing or something. It started there for you, right? <laughs> so yeah, maybe that's where it started. That. Yeah, yeah, maybe yeah, before yeah, that. Maybe okay. before that, yeah. It started for me there. I've been slobbing for a, while. I I for a long time. Yeah. I've never. It's the Tennessee effect, I'm telling you. America. Dad has to do the same thing. I already did the huge poop diaper chain this morning, and I got him dressed. It was like almost coming out of the seam of that. It's all that cornbread he ate last night. <laughs> Thanks, Nana. Say hi. There's a ladybug in there. Put your shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> what did well, we get his pictures taken? The photographer always says there's a ladybug, and he goes, <laughs> There's a ladybug in there? Smile, maybe she'll come out. <laughs> yeah, where's the, where's the Dan Bailey entourage? There is no Dan Bailey entourage. My parents are here. I think they, they got in and my brother gets in today at some point. So you don't have anyone carrying your luggage and stuff over there? No. Super regionals. Day one. Friday, the 26th at 10.36. How many uh, female games athletes do we have? Total that have been to the games? Like eight or 10. So I feel like our, in terms of stacked, in terms of depth of how many girls have gone to the games, we have a lot. I think it'll be a pretty exciting weekend. Should be. But this is just icing on the cake. birthday cake for Archie. Huh. And then we have some presents. I wrap presents, not yes. When did I wrap presents? Not Wednesday. yesterday. Wednesday. Wednesday. <laughs> After I had RC, I couldn't go poop for two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> and it hurt really bad. Medication? Because of the painkillers. Oh. <laughs> it hurt really bad. I'm sorry. I remember sitting on the toilet 
one calling my mom crying and screaming because I couldn't go. It hurt so bad. Like, I thought, like, someone was stabbing me with, like, a, a, po a hot poker. Oh, my gosh. And, no, I remember this. I even remember exactly where I was. I was downstairs bathroom. I remember everything. And RC was outside with Arsenio. And I remember saying, God, please just let me go poop. This hurts really bad. I never thought I'd be praying for that. Can Mommy have a kiss? Hey, can I have one? Can I have one? No. Denied. So, on our last video, you are riding around with me, right? Yep. You stopped at the Speedway, and you got some energy drinks, and you got me some whole milk. I put that whole milk in my bag, and it got left in my bag, and it exploded in my bag. And all over the back seat, and so for like two days, I'd open the door the one day, and I'm like, dang, it is bad in here. I'm like, what is that? And I didn't catch on until one of the days I went to open my bag, and I opened it, and I'm just like, that's the same smell from my car. I'm like, what the hell is going on here? And I start digging through the bag, and sure enough, there it is. Just a little quart of whole milk, warm with the cap burst off. You know what that odor is? Thrusters. The smell of gains. <laughs> it's the smell of gains. Yeah. I love it. It's awesome. Yeah. She's uh, she's great. Mm -hmm. Especially looking forward to the next year, too. I mean, to see what she's accomplished in this uh, eight months, right after having, you know, emergency C-section, has been uh, pretty awesome to see. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Very cool. That what, uh, just how uh, you feel right now? I don't think that Good. got out. A little nervous. Yeah, they didn't intend it. They'll start getting real once we start, like, warming up and getting in the stalls and stuff. But. I got to come to you in prayer, and God, I just ask that you watch over these two amazing women going into this weekend, God, and that you just give them your warrior spirit, and that they go out there, and let all their abilities flow out of them, and true confidence, God, and just let everything out on the floor, and leave nothing unspoken at the end of the weekend, God, and that in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Yep. Game time. Boom! Boom! Leave it all. We're here fireworks. <laughs>of simple body weight movements. 2015 I would have seen chest bar pull-ups and shit myself. Really? Oh yeah. I hate chest I hated chest bar. I can do all the movements. It's just can I do them better than the other girls? I did event one today in its entirety and I'm pretty fucking stoked that I did an unbroken even if it's in training because seven months ago I couldn't do a single pull-up. I think I'm gonna be able to hold my own I've been wearing the vest once a week and it's just, it's super unpleasant trying to breathe and 
do all those movements while wearing an extra 20 pounds on your body definitely makes for an unpleasant experience. So it's, it's definitely going to be the one that probably sucks the most and that you can uh, really put out really hard for the entire duration until you're done. I think Dan's gonna have his work cut out for him. He's still a great athlete, he's still a great crossfitter obviously, but there's so many younger people in the field now that are performing at a as high a level as him or even higher. I had dinner with him last night and he seems in good in a good space in his head, so hopefully that'll help him return to the games this year. It's what do you want? What are you doing here? I'm gonna hang with my boy. Uh -huh. Every time the show comes up, I hear Pat, Pat's voice saying, Dan Bailey, Dan well, Bailey. That's because this is probably it, Dave, let's be honest. <laughs> Whether I go or not, this is probably the last <laughs> call around. Speaking of big names on the men's side, Dan Bailey started his career at the Central East Regional. He has been in California the past couple years, trying to get back to the games after not qualifying in 2016. Here he is back in the, in the Central Regional. What are his chances of making it back to the games here in 2017? I think they're exceptional. I'm kind of curious how Dan Bailey's going to do after missing the games by just a few points last year in the California Regional. Lindsay Valenzuela making her come back to the individual competition after taking a year off, well documented her battle through pregnancy to come back as an individual. And I I'm really excited to see her in event number one, right? Because we have this 14 pound weight miss that everybody's kind of, you know, making a little bit of a deal about. And she's kind of like 14 pounds. I put on 80 plus during my pregnancy. <laughs> so why don't we strap maybe five or six more on and see how everybody else does. Listening to Pat Sherwood, he's spoken to Dan Bailey, and he says that Bailey has practiced events like this, a, a Murph-like event, weekly if not almost daily. And this is one of those things with Lindsay. She is a ferocious competitor. She is doing phenomenal right now. I know she is probably irritated that she's having to break up her, her pull-ups and, and, and things of that nature, because I know how she is when she wants to she's competing. Dan Bailey, meanwhile, kind of got lost in the shuffle. He wound up in 12th place in the heat. You're looking at what's going to have to be a come from behind weekend for both Bailey and Dancer to get back to the games. And the loudest cheers we've heard since Pacelli crossed the finish line was heard as Valenzuela moving in to her final 12 air squats. Yeah, but I think it's very important rather than inspirational for especially women to see that pregnancy doesn't mean you're done. Pregnancy doesn't mean that like, you know, you're, you're, you're not, you can't be a competitor, you can't be uh, competitive. Yeah, yeah, you don't have to do that. I mean, I, I think that is important for people to see and she's doing a great job of showing that. Yeah. I don't know that that's not going to be top 15, that's for sure. I know, but my goal was top 15 on it. I just, my pull-ups went like like that after the first four rounds. Shake it off, dude. Got five more. That was embarrassing for me. I'm just telling you how I feel so I get it out. You're going to be fine, okay? Long weekend. Shit, the bag on that one big time. It's only one. I know. But yeah, this is your first time back in two years. No, but that was like not. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, you were close to your time of training. I was three minutes off. I did 18 something. Night, oh, 19 something. Don't stress about that, okay? That wasn't a true representation of what I can do. That's what I like. I shit the bed on that one. It's okay. I understand the frustration. It's fine. This is the one event that we were that I was worried about, okay? And you didn't do bad, okay? You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. He's like, you didn't do bad, but you didn't do good. And what was the goal when we started season? To make it back here. 
Okay. And we I made know, it I back. I just felt like I was an out of shape athlete out there, which I'm not. This is your first time back on the floor in two years. Okay. I know. I was like, now you get out there. You know what it feels like. Okay. okay. You gotta get rid of all that. It's like. Like mommy, did you work out? Oh, this point in. Start thinking about event two. That's it. That's what you have left today. One more workout. That's it. Not a true representation of like what I've accomplished. The first time I did that workout, I did it unbroken. I know I'm just voicing everything out so I don't keep it internal. A competitive athlete gets pregnant, has a baby, takes a year off of competition, comes back, and makes it to regionals. You're doing fine. Like, what I'm concerned about, like, what happens if everybody's that much better than me because I've taken time, I have to take time off. That's not, that's not a problem. Yeah. 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 Could have gone better. That's what it is, though. It's down and over with. Come on to the next one. One of the greatest songs ever made. Doesn't it just make you wanna? On this day today, in 1986, Top Gun was released. Hey, yeah, how you know it, them boy? How you say it? It just sounds like he's like. How you say it? It just sounds like that. Like that. Body's working overtime, Eves. Sweet jam! We are at CrossFit Polaris. Should be good. Hi! You need to fix that so bad, that speaker, that drives me nuts. It's my case, I think. Oh. I don't know. Maybe. Life proof? Yeah. I had no idea that Christy was local until 17-2. As soon as I found out she was local, I'm like, hey, where do you train at? We just started talking. She's like, yeah, I train alone a lot. Kind of sucks, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh, that's great. I train alone a lot, you know? Tap. I forgot what I was doing. Right? Yeah. That would be faster, though. That's worked out. On and off, uh, every now and then, I'll, I'll go up there to train. She's come down here a couple times. You're gonna push each other really hard. Like, Christy's an incredible athlete. When you work out with the girls, like, you're not competing for the same thing. Like, we're not going for the same five spots. It doesn't get old. Like, it literally does not get old. Just because you're not competing for the same five spots, it allows you to be a little more competitive and not get any kind of emotion in there. You can just kinda compete, go hard, push yourself, get a good training session in. Are we doing two rounds? Yeah. This is the first thing I did. I don't know how much more. I don't want to tear a pack. Let's put it that way. Last chance for the men today here in Albany. 314, the time to beat. Expect that to possibly go down. Christian Harris down. He's the second or third athlete to drop off those rings. It's Chase Smith. Who missed the games a year ago by multiple tiebreakers being needed. Just like all 21-15-9 oh, workouts. Smith is down. Smith is down now. <laughs> man, that looks terrible. Unbelievable. First man this year to catch Fraser on an event. 305. Tim Pulse in your event. Winner Matt Fraser in second. I think it's awful. That sucks. It's terrible. Again. We're running it back. I want to know who made that sound. This is a big debate between me and Brian. Like, who's the guy on the credits for this song who makes that that noise? I don't want to be the moth around your fire. I mean, Hemingway, Steinbeck, Kenny Loggins. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. You say it was the right time to walk away. Dreaming takes you nowhere. Satisfied with your message? Press one. How you know with them boys? 
You saw me staying! Hi, Louis! I think this one is a good one for me. We're treating it as this is event one. Um, but wish I would have gone a little bit faster in the first one, but at the end of the day, I'm trying to remember when I started training eight months ago, I couldn't do up pull up, so. Oh, we're just stretching the shoulders. A little extra stretch. Make sure we're loose. I think this is the all heartthrob division of the, of the regionals because I'm going with Dan Bailey in this one because I think he actually, I think he needs a top finish in this particular one. Is one of those people, Pat, that needs to stomp the gas pedal. And chest and triceps. Dan <laughs> Bailey. Got a good friend of mine, E.C. Sinkowski, one of the best coaches in CrossFit. What did she say? She called my arms beef pillows. It's a good name. are going to be on the man in blue shorts and red shoes and that is Dan Bailey who's looking to make up some ground. Look how fast he is on that pole. Lindsay Valenzuela will be first to step forward. It. This might be something she's looking a bit more forward to, a little bit heavier dumbbell she gets to throw around. Mentally he needs an event like this after that little bit of a setback you mentioned placing 17th in event number one, didn't go the way he wanted it to. But this one looks like it's shaking up exactly how he wants it to. I mean, no wasted movement, no wasted effort. Except right there, right when I say that. This is still ahead of the event record pace of Tim Paulson. Valenzuela is off the rings over in lane number one, and she will close it out, giving her a top four finish in this third heat. Dan Bailey is going to have to leg out second, and he will, just ahead of Brian Wong. That wraps it up for the fitness for today. Now, hurt my pack a little there. Last couple reps in the uh, round of 21. Everything's just started feeling really tight. Anytime I got deep in the dip. 15, I kind of went a little bit shallower and I got no rep a couple times, so I started going deeper again and then it just hurt the whole rest of the way through. I was waiting, hoping I wasn't going to like pop. I didn't, just tweak. Obviously, I'm not ending where I want to be on day one, but uh, I'm kind of bummed, but uh, it's time to like regroup and... How are you feeling after day one? I just feel fantastic about it. Uh, I mean, two, two points out of like fifth, the spread from my position to the top spot isn't that, that crazy, especially with, uh, you know, four events to go. Right now I'm just wondering if I can do those four events because my pec is not in, not in great shape right now. Like, I'm not internally freaking out that I'm sitting, what, 23rd? It's not like a super shitty spot to be in, but it's not a really great spot to be in, you know? I mean, I'm disappointed, obviously. I think that my performance, the last, my performance, the first two workouts doesn't reflect, I think, where I am athletically. I just feel like I've let people down already. everyone that's invested just as much time as I have. If somebody feels let down by your performance, then there's somebody that doesn't know what it takes to be in your shoes. The sacrifice well, that it takes to... There's also somebody that's really not in your corner if they feel that way. Yeah. If they're not willing to be with you in the highs and highs or lows and lows, then maybe they're not willing to be there. And I don't think anybody within our circle, it feels that way. Everybody was just super happy to see you out there again. Yeah. I 
think I want to say at least fifty percent of the competitors didn't finish that second workout. Yeah. So. And to keep it all in perspective, did fifty percent of those people have a kid and then come back in one year? No, they didn't. It's like I don't want to make that your crutch, but it's reality. Yeah. No, I I don't. That's what I think. That's a good way to put it. Like. I don't want it to make it my crutch. Like, I think it, I don't want it to make an excuse, although it's like a huge life changing, physical changing thing. But I also know what I'm capable of doing. Does that make sense? Do you love Ohio? I love Ohio. Absolutely, heart of it all, birthplace of aviation. Dan Bailey, why are you single? Why am I single? It's yeah, more of a choice. Single? It's been a choice. Like, let's be honest. I haven't really put in the groundwork to be having a girlfriend. It's been a choice. I'm hoping to change that choice. I've had plenty of opportunities. I just haven't really taken them or capitalized on them. What do you mean by the word capitalize? I mean, like, trying to improve the quality of a woman's life to the point where she needs me to stay in it or she is not fulfilled. <laughs> it's I've, your fault. I've been, yeah, I mean, yeah, it is. It's my fault. I started my... Great. I've started my period. This is like a whole, like, sexual, like... <laughs> Like, what is it called? Sex ed class with Lindsay Valenzuela. <laughs> talking about not being able to poop after having a kid, and now I'm talking about periods. And, uh, and everybody's not been well informed about a C-section. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome, CrossFit World. Uh, DM me if you have any personal questions. <laughs> um, no, I've. it's hard when for a female, like... We have so many, like, I guess, like, body things that we have to go through as competitors. Like, guys don't have to go through sh shit. Like, I've started my period, like, in the middle of in regionals. Like, during an event. Like, went to go to the bathroom to go pee. And I'm like, well, this is great. And I'm, like, texting my mom. Like, you gotta go to Savon's. <laughs> like. What? I hate it when that happens. Yeah, don't you hate that? that seriously, that happened? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I hate when that happened. Get my uh, card number on there. Yeah. Good. It's great. 4K. It's great. Let's <laughs> you can slow it down. It's gonna be really easy to screen grab that shit. Just, just the slow mo. And I got your address. Is this it right here? Oh, that's the uh, restaurant. It's not where you go in. At. That's one of those situations where everybody's on the out inside looking out, going, "He can't do it. He can't. He's not gonna push on that door." There's no way. So that's, that's the rules tonight? We No talking about events? No. That's not talking about CrossFit. No talking about CrossFit, yeah. What other rules are there, Dan? Well, the rules aren't so much to not talk about CrossFit. Just don't give me advice on how I should approach the events. Oh, come on, Dan. I want to know their advice for it. No, we're not going back to the road.
Well, okay, that's all the talk about <laughs> <laughs> the event. Moving right along. Moving right along, yeah. <laughs> See you tomorrow. What's best? Yep. What's yep. best? You know what's best. Yeah, I mean, we'll see how it feels in the morning, and then uh, obviously warm up. Yeah. Oh yeah. Tried to get a little treatment before I warmed up, and that didn't go well. I needed to get the blood flowing a little bit. Had a lot of pain. People were poking on it. Right now. I'm having trouble doing simple things like opening doors with my left hand. But then the rope climbs didn't feel good at all. Okay. What do you think about that? Right now I think I'm done. It hurts worse than it did when I woke up this morning with those rope climbs. Basically what's going through my mind, you know, you got one or two options. You're going to be super disappointed if you pull out of the competition. Don't go back on the floor. Or if you go out there, worst case scenario, if I actually tore my pack off or did something like that. Right now I'm probably looking at two to three weeks of just taking it easy on leaving my left arm alone. If it gets torn off, you're looking at, I don't know, six months to a year. And 45 muscle ups are kind of looming tomorrow. With all that, I just decided to uh, step out and not risk further injury. Uh, yeah, I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed a little bit that it happened. I'm disappointed that I feel like I'm kind of letting fans down. People who want to see you compete, want to hang out, want to chat, want to whatever, get pictures. Again, like I said, like last year, I felt like it was in my control to go. And right now, I can't control this. It, it happened. I hurt myself, and I can't stop that. I'm so lucky to get to to have gotten to have five years at the games. It's been a crazy, crazy fun journey. Hopefully, it's not over. We'll see. Yeah, I've hinted that this was going to be my last year, and. I think it would have been if I could have made it through the weekend. We'll see. I'm not going to make any decisions today because I'm not really in a good mood to make a decision like that right now. Whether it's team, whether it's individual, whether it's take a year off and go Masters, we'll see. They're actually pretty good. It's actually pretty good, yeah. Are they for babies? They're like cereal. Taste it. Found it. Thank you. $3,000 a year for that house. <laughs> oh, they are really good. I see. What do you think about that 21.15.9 today? I think it's uh, a really cool feeling to be on the floor and just see like so many people stand and cheering me on. That was probably one of the best moments in my CrossFit career of like being in heat two and everyone's like, ah, oh, you know, I'm not in the last heat, but I've pretty much experienced every situation I think I can possibly experience in CrossFit now. I'm not scared to lose because I've lost. I'm not scared to win because I've won. I'm not scared to take time off because I've taken time off. And I think that's made me a mature athlete because I've experienced so much in such a short period of time. I just, uh, I want, you know, my son to know that women are capable of so much. And I think that, you know, these false expectations that are of women that, you know, you, you can't do everything, that we can't handle everything, we can't be a mom, we can't be a competitor, we can't be a business owner. It's bullshit. There's probably more girls in your gym than there are males, right? And the guys are like, yeah, that girl just beat me in that workout. Can you believe that? And she did the men's weight. Like, that's fucking awesome. And that's cool that the guys in CrossFit think that's cool and respect that. I want him to know that, you know, if, you know, he chooses to marry a woman, and he, he's happily married to a, a lady that um, that she's capable of doing everything, and that he can support her just like my husband, his dad, has supported me through everything. And I want Arsenio, RC, to know that women are capable of a lot of things, whether it's in CrossFit or not, that we can hold our own against guys too. <laughs> I can remember like in November like sitting there like in tears thinking I'm never going to be back in shape like how am I going to even get through the open how am I going to be ready for the open and 
I am 11th at this year's regional, so um, I surpassed my expectations. The competitor side of me definitely wishes I was top five. I think that's a legitimate feeling to have, um, but I think I for sure can be top five again. There's only one thing left that I really want to accomplish, and that's now at the minimum is be on the podium and at the maximum win. PR. Everything else that I've done, I've won an Open, I've won two regionals, I've won on an invitational team. I don't have a whole lot of more things that I want to check off the list other than those two. The battle that goes on inside you then is, am I good? Am I satisfied like with what I've done at the CrossFit Games? Like, is that enough? Or is it not enough? You know, there's a part of me where it's not enough and there's a part of me where it's enough.